Hello, friends and clients. It's Dr. Gary Senderoff with Cruise Planners, your leading expedition advisor. I'm here to help you get the best value on any expedition that you may have. My email will always be at the end of each video so you could get in touch. And I don't charge any service fee. And as a matter of fact, since I'm a top producer for these expeditions, I usually get clients perks on top of what the expedition lines provide. And after our two-day tour package of Quito, we're headed out to the Galapagos on Celebrity Flora, which, as you know, is the sister ship to the higher-end Silver Sea origin. So stay tuned for the scoop. Welcome to Quito. Welcome to Ecuador. And uh, thank you for choosing Ecuador as your travel destination, because I'm pretty sure that you're going to enjoy this wonderful adventure. Your next is on the Galapagos Islands. And, and when you include the package by Celebrity, they will provide a transfer from the airport to the hotel and two nights in Quito with all the important sites in comfort and even all meals included. Then you'll fly on a special chartered flight, usually by Avianca on an aircraft that usually holds over 200 people with no more than 98 other passengers on this two and a half hour flight. And when you get back to Quito, they give you one more night and transfer you back to the airport. So they really hold your hands the entire time. Hello. Can I please have your room number? 604. 604. 604, Gary. Yes. You'll see the sky Thank you. My name is Cristina. I'm part of the team of naturalists on board. I'll be with you the whole week as well. If you're looking for wildlife, let me tell you, Galapagos will not disappoint. And the minute you walk off the plane and onto the port, you're going to start seeing wildlife right away before you even step aboard one of their tenders and their tenders by the way are a lot larger than most expedition zodiacs and super easy to get on and off okay ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to galapagos my name is annie okay i'm one of the naturalists that is going to be uh this week with you also and uh, of course we're going to take like a uh, few minutes ride you know the two are From captain to room attendants, the entire crew seemed to be genuinely happy being there and were extremely professional and friendly throughout my voyage. Well, I would like to welcome you on board and I'd like to introduce to you some people here on board. Here on my right hand side, this is Captain Galapagos, Captain Patricio. Yeah. Staff will be waiting for you there to escort you up to your suite. 4.30 in the Discovery Lounge, we're going to do a briefing about the Galapagos and the briefing about your uh, activities for tomorrow. Mr. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome on board. Okay. Hermosa habitación. Oh, gracias. Para disfrutar los siete días. Así. Perfecto. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. We have the binoculars. Great. Mhm. Uh -huh. For the vista. Awesome. You were the top. Oh yeah, I was on the only grass there. Oh, the and I crawled and I crawled back. You know, we took breakfast during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Three thirty in the morning. When you were Superman and you flew off the second floor. Okay, I was I was two and a half. Oh, I thought you were three. I was like three ish. You were like five days or something. No, no, no. No, by the time you were five, you were up.
Darwin's Cove is right across from guest services, and it's a great place to gather and listen to scientific lectures about this area, the Galapagos. It's sometimes treated as a library area, and there's also a wealth of books and other literature pertaining to, of course, this very special place, the Galapagos. And when it comes to food options aboard Celebrity Flora, there are a couple of options. One popular place is this, the Ocean Grill, which is set up for all three meal services. They offer a buffet style with the same American style lunches throughout the day and then dinner under the stars, at no additional cost by the way, where reservations are required. The aft area of this deck on the floor is called the Vista. It has ample deck space, great lounges, a jacuzzi, and even a couple of outdoor bedrooms where you could glamp. Yep, you heard me right. You can sleep under the stars, as they call it, and they'll even treat this as a room and bring you breakfast in bed in the morning. And they do draw the curtains so it feels much more private, and the temperature does cool off a bit at night as well. It's certainly not for me, but the people who did it absolutely loved it. Uh, we have the observation deck, which is all the way to the front. So let's do that. Let's head over to this observatory lounge, which is also on deck seven in the forward part of the ship. This lounge is probably the quietest area of the ship and least used. It's such a great place to have morning coffee and maybe get a bird's eye view before starting your daily adventure. It's also a wonderful place to read or catch up with friends and family and maybe even play cards or a board game. Above this area is the observation deck, which at night is pitch black. And I could tell you that the stars are usually crystal clear once you allow 20 minutes or so for your eyes to adjust. And here's a day view from the observation area. And there's the Lindblad National Geographic Ocean Islander 2. This is a significant downgrade though when comparing it to the Flora or of course the Silver Origin, but they're still a value travel partner. And as a top producer with National Geographic, we do enjoy giving our clients preferred perks and extras as well. The seaside restaurant is the main dining room for Flora. And here's the lowdown. The lunch is buffet style and typically inspired by the region of that particular day. For example, one day it might be Ecuadorian cuisine with a wonderful ceviche, while another day it may be Italian. And what I recommend for you to do during lunch is to familiarize yourself with the ocean grill menu since that doesn't change, and then come here to this restaurant and see what they are serving. You can then stay and enjoy the cuisine that day, or just grab a plate and move to the upstairs area and mix the foods. Does that make sense?
welcome in the Seaside restaurant, please. This is great. Dinner is sit down and usually is extremely good. And you may have heard that the beef is tough since they must serve local beef, but I actually found it to be quite good. For tonight we have the grouper uh, that dishes change every night. A good option of. And for main course today we have a osobuco. This is the best option. Okay? The osobuco or maybe the local fish gratinado, the second option in the main course. The local fish gratinado, in this case, the fish is a sea bass, okay? Can I get it? the information about your customers so they can call them? What is, what is that one now? That's uh... I think more. I think so. We have also the Discovery Lounge, which is right here, where we have all the briefings, all the movies, all the lectures. The Discovery Lounge is certainly the heartbeat of this ship. This is where you'll be meeting friends for drinks. It's where you'll show up for your shore excursions and where they'll have the daily briefings, the recaps, and the signups for the next day's shore excursions. And here's a pro tip for you. Try the peanut butter cookies before you leave on your morning excursion. And I think when you do, you'll thank me. And you can work out and even get a massage as there's a small spa and fitness center. And now let's take a tour of the Infinite Veranda Sky Suite 604. And for this, I'll give you over to my suite attendant. Nice to meet you. And let me show your room, please. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. Please, this is the panel control. It's the oh, control okay. the temperature, full light, medium light, in all light. Please press the button to open the blackout. Press the button on the light. It's inside the closet, but the laundry, your laundry is complimentary from today until Sursa night. 20 pieces per person. Okay. It's the binocular, safe, a slipper, the bathroom. Okay. Please, it's in the bathroom. It's the drinking water. Uh, Sunscreen, body lotion, hydrator, towels, and shower. Great. And the bathroom in each of these suites is actually pretty spectacular for any ship standards. And these are actually smaller than the premium suites on this ship. 
It has a large double sink, so you can get ready with your significant other if that applies to you. And it's also a large space in general, which includes a really modern and spacious shower with eco-friendly products branded by Kuno. Celebrity even offers a bottle of Kuno sun protection as a courtesy as well as lip balm. Now, one of the most controversial parts of this bathroom is the window peekaboo style wall that overlooks the bedroom. And I actually think this is a fantastic feature since it provides you the benefit of not missing any sight of possible wildlife. And as you go towards the waste area, you'll notice that it becomes more opaque. And also the bed is strategically positioned away from the bathroom as the entire room is designed for its main purpose, which is really to look outside. The mini bar is complimentary for you this week. And yep. soda and beer. This is the light cocoa syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Press the press button the light and open the blackout. Alright. Champagne complimentary for you. This press the button the open and close the window. Mm -hmm. Is open or working is? Very nice. Yes. Uh, the lunch is ready and the now. Oh, okay, great. Welcome and why are you vacation? Thank you nice so much. This was my first time in an infinite veranda and I must admit that I really enjoyed having the extra space. I also liked the floor to ceiling windows when I was not using it as a veranda and the direct ocean views. I know some people don't like the infinite verandas but I personally like them better and I kind of think of it as a convertible so you can have it as a balcony, which is great, or just have the floor to ceiling windows. And I actually do love this concept, but then again, I also have a real convertible in real life. What do you think? Leave it in the comments, I'm curious to know. And by the way, everybody who comes in gets these really good chocolate handcrafted goodies, a pen that you could write with if you're doing work while on board, or if you just wanna write down a schedule of your shore excursion for the next day or whatever. You only have one outlet next to one side of the bed, which I think was a big fail for Celebrity. Other than that, I do believe that this room is designed really nicely. And I mean one outlet by the beds. Of course, they have other outlets which are in the desk area. Also, the TV does tilt and I kept it in the same position all week. And they do give you lots of storage space for a week, in my opinion, with shelving areas, closets, robes, and plenty of drawers. And here's another pro tip. I use the room service breakfast as a wake-up call before I head out for my excursions. It usually works out pretty well for me. And as you can see, there are a variety of suite types aboard the flora from regular veranda suites all the way up to the beautiful royal and even the penthouse suites. There's certainly no shortage in luxury and space. So if you want a huge amount of space, you can take something like one of those two penthouse suites or something in between. There are so many options here on the flora. consider ourselves here as, as a family, a family of 86 crew members. How are you this afternoon? You? Very good. So welcome to the Galapagos Islands. Welcome to a magical place. So here we have the Galapagos Islands. They belong to the Ecuadorian government. You can see it's like more or less 600 miles or a thousand kilometers. Then we have around 13 major islands. All of them are like single volcanoes. In the case of a wet landing, we're going to do it always when we're going on the beach. And you can see here they're wearing 
some water shoes. So that's something that we're going to give you here. We're gonna give you the mask, the normal, regular mask, the tube. And this is the recap for tomorrow's activities. So that will be helping you for the time when you're taking, uh, when you're signing up with the naturalist. Six zero four. Six zero four. Six zero four. Six zero four. Here you have. So. The aft marina folds up or down depending on the area that you're in so that you can embark and disembark the tenders very quickly and very easily. We have like a quick or dip in pool, which is very small because you know this is a small ship. So yep, they do have a pool, but as you can see, it is quite small. Certainly not for doing laps in. Good morning. I'm great. Thank yeah, you. Hey, have a great day. Thank Enjoy. you. And very similar to other expedition zodiacs, these tenders are actually a little bit bigger and quite easy to embark upon. As long as you could walk down and up a couple of stairs, you're good to go. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please let me introduce myself. My name is Annie. I'm going to be the naturalist, okay, this morning. And we have Eduardo with us as our morning. captain tender. Morning. 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 <laughs> Good. So in a few more minutes, we're going to approach to Española Island, Garner Beach. Okay, a beautiful sandy, white sandy beach. Okay. So are you ready then for the walk? Yes. 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 Perfecto. Thing is that most 
most of the corals, most of these organic materials, as soon as the islands are moving, because we are in a tectonic plate, we are moving to the east. So in the snorkel, you're going to see a lot of fish also. three families, right? The marine birds, the coastal birds, and then we have also the land birds, right? Good morning, no, Española. Española, so we got to take the right along this way, and then uh, we look different for kind of wildlife. By the way, if you've already booked your cruise directly with Celebrity in the last 30 days, even if you've deposited it, you can transfer it to me and I'll add an onboard credit. But for the best value on any expedition, including Galapagos, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. And don't forget to go to my website at www.tourdoctors.com and sign up to get on my VIP email list so we can keep in touch. And for more videos like this, don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for part two on my channel. Thanks again for watching, and keep exploring.